Hello, this is David. This is a simple setup for performing with Sonic Pi. It is not really a live coding setup, as there is too much to type for little effect. Everything has to be programmed before the performance. Sonic Pi runs on my laptop, and most laptops made in the last few years should be good enough for this. I have an Akai APC Key 25, and I'm using the APC pad matrix. The lights under the pads are controlled by sending MIDI messages to the device. Most of the time I use the pads as toggles for track mutes or parameter presets. And the setup is very portable. It fits in a backpack and connects to a PA via the laptop's headphone jack. To get the best performance and lowest latency, I close all other programs when running Sonic Pi. The pad matrix is controlled by just one array. Conveniently, the first pad is MIDI node 0, and it goes all the way to 39. So I can just use the MIDI node to index the array. The state of each pad is saved as an integer in that array. 0 means there is no light, and the pad does nothing. 1 means the pad is green. 3 means it's red. 5 means the pad is yellow. And I sometimes use it to indicate that the pad toggles in effect or a section and not a synth track. I don't really use the keys because the latency between MIDI Sonic Pi's synths and the resulting audio makes it very difficult to play. I also have eight knobs that send MIDI CC messages. and I use them to control volume or effect parameters. This one array approach makes programming really easy, because you just have to change one value to program a pad, and the synth loops just look for the values in the array. Here is a little demo with my Love on a Real Train cover. I can toggle the arpeggio, and the drums. And also bring in the bass. Some more thoughts on the setup. You could use a Raspberry Pi instead of a laptop, but complex sets might be too CPU intensive. You could use any APC for this, I just have this one. And if it has more pads, then the array has to be bigger. By default, Sonic Pi has a schedule ahead time of one second. This is the time between an incoming message or change to the code and its effect on the sound. I reduced this to 0.2 seconds. For me and this hardware, this is a good balance between Sonic Pi's stability and playability. If you are interested in making music with Sonic Pi, then go to my channel, there's a bunch of videos about Sonic Pi. And I also linked my Sonic Pi tutorial playlist, and there's a lot of interesting stuff in there as well. If you liked this video, then please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you soon.